What's going on guys, this is Sam, and for the second time this week alone, we are checking out a new iOS 11.2 beta. Today, Apple released iOS 11.2 beta 6 to developers and public beta testers, so you can head over to settings, general, and software update to get the latest version of iOS 11.2 in beta form right now. It's kind of interesting that Apple has shifted to two betas a week now sometimes, where this summer, we were lucky if we got one iOS 11 beta every two to three weeks, but it's cool, we get to see more changes along the way, and that was true for most of the iOS 11.2 beta, but with beta 5 on Monday and now beta 6 today on Friday, we aren't seeing any other changes. The most notable thing about today's update was the size. It was 2.22 gigabytes on my iPhone 10 which was a relatively large number for a beta. And that along with the build number 15C114 without a letter behind it indicates that this is probably the Golden Master GM final version of iOS 11.2 that we'll see prior to the public release. It's sometime, I would assume within the next two or three weeks. Looking at past release dates for iOS 9.2 and iOS 10.2, 9.2 was released on December 8th and 10.2 was released on December 12th of 2015 and 2016 respectively. So probably within the next two weeks at the very latest, usually Apple will skip a week after they release the GM update. So I would definitely say somewhere around December 10th through 14th sounds like a good time frame, but nothing has been confirmed for sure. Apple always is pretty sketchy with these release dates. All of a sudden it just pops up on millions of iOS devices around the world. Very rarely do we actually get a tip or heads up like, hey, this big update is coming, look forward to it then. It just kind of happens. So I've been looking through iOS 11.2 beta 6 to see if I could find any new changes or features, and I have not been able to. But over the past week, not specifically tied to iOS 11.2 beta 6, inside of the TV app in iOS 11.2, there's a new sports section. If you're a big sports person, you'll probably love this section of the TV app now, because it does a pretty good job of showing you all of the big games that are coming up at the very top. You can scroll. Uh, I have two problems with this, though. Number one, I do not care about sports whatsoever, and number two, I never ever find myself inside of the TV app. I guess if I'm really wanting to follow like my home baseball team, the St. Louis Cardinals, I could turn this on when spring training starts and throughout the baseball season. But other than that, I don't really see myself using this feature. I want to hear your thoughts on the TV app down below in the comment section. The TV app was actually initially released in iOS 10.2 last year and I feel like I've just stopped using it since the beta cycle a year ago. But once again, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the TV app down below in the comment section. Overall though, I'm really excited for iOS 11.2 to release for everyone. It's a really good update. You get a ton of new features and changes, new wallpapers for the iPhone 10. You get iPhone 8 marketing wallpapers for I think the iPhone 7 and a couple of other devices. Apple Pay Cash is finally here. There's been some other tweaks around the operating system and performance and battery life have been absolutely off the charts for me throughout iOS 11.2. I actually ran an iOS 11.2 Geekbench test on beta 6 and my scores on beta 6 were lower than they were on iOS 11.2 beta 5 by a decent amount for the multi-core score, but these scores tend to fluctuate all the time and I really don't think it's that big of a deal. The performance when I'm actually using the phone still feels buttery smooth and once again, battery life has been seriously phenomenal on my iPhone 10. Anyway guys, that is going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed watching, as always, feel free to drop a like down below and of course hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I also have new merch out if you want to buy a t-shirt and support the channel. I would really appreciate that. I've been Sam. I hope you're doing great and I'll talk to you in my next video.